Deadpool is not an SCP. But if it were, how would the SCP Foundation contain it? Hello, I'm Dr. Theron Sherman, and in this series we construct hypothetical containment procedures for non-SCP popular culture entities and objects. Let's begin. Ah, Deadpool. The merc with the mouth. The regenerating degenerate. That asshole. Deadpool has quite the arsenal of powers, skills, weapons, and gadgets. Powers-wise, we're looking at regeneration, enhanced strength, enhanced speed, resistance to psychic assault, and some toxins, and of course, fourth wall awareness. For skills, the mercenary boasts knowledge of multiple martial arts, enhanced athletic prowess, and is an expert marksman and swordsman. The subject is always armed with its signature weapons, swords, guns, knives, and grenades. It also uses gadgets such as holographic projectors and a variety of teleportation devices. The first step in standard containment would be an overdose of tranquilizers to sedate the subject, possibly hidden in a chimichanga. This will give our agents ample opportunity to disarm and bind the subject Hannibal Lecter style. Can't have any of those fancy martial arts being used on our researchers, can we? Our focus of study would be Deadpool's healing factor using a combination of the Mutant Inhibitor Collar featured in Deadpool 2, along with different healing-centric SCPs, we could learn much from our new guinea pig without accidentally letting its cancer cause it to shuffle off its mortal coil to its waiting girlfriend's arms. One last thorn in our side we need to worry about is Deadpool's quote, insanity, that allows it to realize that it is a fictional character. Well, I should say, thorn that we don't need to worry about at all, because Deadpool isn't the only one who can play the fourth wall breaking game. In one of the many SCP-001 proposals, specifically S. Andrew Swan's proposal, the Foundation collates the data from all SCP documents into a single extra-universal server that realizes that articles are being added, updated, and deleted with no rhyme nor reason. Or, no rhyme nor reason until they realize the truth. They are fictional characters in a universe created by SCP-001. Us. The SCP Authors. Bwah! Beyond that, we have the Pataphysics Department, which is a fictional department created by the Foundation for the containment of metafictional entities. So, the fictional Foundation created a fictional department, and that fictional department deconstructed an intrafictional character into a depressed shell of its author using an unfinished version of its character manuscript that they straight up made up in order to contain it, and now I've gone cross-eyed from confusion. Ugh. Sure, it nearly figured out the game and got away, and also nearly deconstructed the pataphysics department itself in the process, but you know what? Deadpool's best fourth wall breaks are information gathering, not bending the universe around its will. So we're gonna be fine, I hope. Make sure to like and share this video, comment any creatures you would like to see containment procedures implemented for, and if you want to help us make bigger and better SCP projects, become a patron at the link in the description. Secure. Contain. Protect.